Birth Pile Item Number SCP-5002 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-5002 is to be contained in a modified amorphous entity containment chamber equipped with an automatic humanoid detection system, HDS, as well as remote turrets that are activated upon detection of SCP-5002-A instances. SCP-5002's containment chamber is to undergo a monthly cleaning process in order to gather and discard the remains of SCP-5002-A instances. During the cleaning process, HDS is to be disengaged, and janitorial staff accompanied by highly trained armed guards are to be allowed into the containment chamber of SCP-5002. The armed guards are given orders to terminate any additional SCP-5002-A instances that might manifest during the cleaning process. Once the remains of all present SCP-5002-A instances are gathered, they are to be disposed of via high-intensity incineration. Staff who enter SCP-5002's containment chamber are urged not to touch SCP-5002 under any circumstances. Description: SCP-5002 is a large mass of unstructured non-cohesive flesh, bones, and internal organs. SCP-5002 has been observed to contain only biological material from humans. SCP-5002 contains over 600 complete sets of every single human organ system including but not limited to the entire nervous systems, cardiovascular systems, digestive tracts, both male and female reproductive organs. SCP-5002 will extend tendrils from its internal mass and secrete up to two fully grown instances of SCP-5002-A daily. SCP-5002-A instances are roughly humanoid and possess a slender and fetal composure. The entire outer body of SCP-5002-A instances are coated in a thick layer of human saliva and amniotic fluid. SCP-5002-A instances are structurally fragile and extremely hostile. SCP-5002-A instances are easily terminated. Tests performed on remains of SCP-5002-A have revealed them to be genetically human. Any individual who touches SCP-5002 will be dragged into SCP-5002 and be stripped layer by layer of their organ systems before being assimilated into the mass of SCP-5002. Additionally, SCP-5002 does not decompose and will remain stationary. All organs in SCP-5002 appear to be functioning naturally and at normal levels of activity expected for the average human. SCP-5002 appears to be built around a central mass of unknown nature and composition. Attempts to locate, retrieve, analyze, or otherwise access the location of this mass has resulted in unforeseen technical difficulties and failure of the operation.